بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو آن لائن کلاسز آف ڈی پی ایس ساہیوال آئی ایم یور میتھس ٹیچر فائزہ منظور ٹو ڈے از آور لیکچر نمبر ون کلاس فائیو Today we will start chapter number 4 and the name of the chapter number 4 is Decimals and Percentages. Content we will discuss today are Addition and Subtraction of Decimals. Exercise 4a Question number 4 part F and H. Learning objectives at the end of this lecture students will be able to learn how to add and subtract decimal numbers. We already learned decimal numbers. Now let us revise them point by point decimal numbers or decimal fractions fractions with 10 100 1000 and so on in the denominator can be represented as decimal numbers for example 2 upon 10 represented and read as 0 0.2 13 upon 100 written and read as 0 0.13 mixed decimal a mixed decimal contains a whole number that is the integral part and a decimal that is the decimal part for example 78.42 in this number 78 represent the integral part the dot refers the decimal point and 42 represent the decimal part decimal places the places after the decimal point are called decimal places for example 42.3 has one decimal place because it has one number three after the decimal point the number 118.61 has two decimal places because it has two number after the decimal point. Place value system. Decimal numbers extend the place value system to the right of the ones column. Look the table carefully and we can see after the ones column the decimal number extend the column toward the right side. After the decimal point we can see the tens, hundreds and thousands column. Students, remember if numbers have different number of decimal places, such numbers are called unlike decimals and we can easily transform them into like decimals by putting zeros in empty places. For example, the number 42.3 has one decimal place because it has one digit after the decimal point 
द नंबर वन हंड्रेड एटीन पॉइंट सिक्स वन हैज टू डेसिमल प्लेसेस बिकॉज इट हैज टू डिजिट आफ्टर द डेसिमल पॉइंट द नंबर फोर पॉइंट नाइन नाइन थ्री हैज थ्री डेसिमल प्लेसेस एंड वी कैन सी दैम इन द टेबल these numbers have different number of decimal places and are called unlike decimals but we can convert them like decimals by putting zeros in the empty boxes as we can see in the table by putting zeros in the empty boxes these numbers have same decimal places now all three numbers are like decimals we already learned decimal numbers now let us learn how to add and subtract the decimal numbers so let's get started here we have two numbers 167.9 and 7.29 write the bigger number and smaller number in such a way that the decimal point are aligned then you can add zeros the places where are no numbers now students the decimal point of these given numbers are aligned place zeros to the empty places after decimal places not change the number we put 167.90 instead 167.9 it does not change the number 1 and 10 are not same but only in case of decimal numbers 0.1 and 0.10 are same so we put 167.90 instead of 167.9 it does not change the number putting zero toward right of the decimal place cannot change the number and we put 0 0.7.29 instead of 7.29 it does not change the number now add from right most column in hundreds column add 0 9 we get 9 now add 9 plus 2 we get 11 so we put 1 in tens column and carry 1 to ones column now write the decimal point now adding 7 Plus seven plus one, we get fifteen. Put five in the ones column and carry one to the tens column. One plus six, we get seven. And one plus zero, we get one. so our sum is 
Now let's take another example. Here we have three numbers 3.19 plus 27.974 plus 8.8. First of all, we write the numbers in such a way that the decimal points are aligned. Now, we put the zeros to the empty places. It does not change the number by putting the zero in the empty places. All these numbers now are like decimals and we can add them easily. Now adding the numbers from rightmost column from the thousands column. 0 plus 4 plus 4 we get 4. So we put 4 in the thousands column. 9 plus 7, we get 16. So we put 6 in hundreds column and carry 1 to the tens column. 1 plus 1 plus 9 plus 8 we get 19 so we put 9 in the tens column and carry 1 to the ones column now we write the decimal point where it is now 1 plus 3 plus 7 plus 8 we get 19 Put 9 in the 1's column and carry 1 to the 10's column. 1 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0 we get 3. So our sum is 39.964. Exercise 4A question number 4 part H. Now let's subtract the decimal numbers. Here we have two numbers 732.11. And 28.932. Subtract 28.932 from 732.11. Again, we write the bigger number and smaller number in such a way that the decimal points are aligned. Then we put zeros in the empty places and convert the unlike decimals in, des in the like decimals. So we can subtract these numbers easily. Now subtracting from the rightmost column from the thousands column subtract 2 from 0 which is not possible so we carry 1 from hundreds column now we have 10 in the thousands column subtract by subtracting 2 from 10 we get 8. Now we have 0 in the hundreds column. 
because we carry one to the thousands column now again we can't subtract 3 from 0 so we carry 1 from tens column now we have 10 in hundreds column and 0 in the tens column now subtracting 3 from 10 we get 7 Again, in tens column, we have 0 and we can't subtract 9 from 0, so we carry 1 from 1's column. Now, in tens column, we have 10 and in 1's column, we have 1 instead of 2. Now, subtract. Subtracting 9 from 10, we get 1 in 10's column. Write the decimal point. Where is it? Now in 1's column, we have 1 and we can't subtract 8 from 1. So we carry 1 from 10's column. Now in tens column we have 2 and in ones column we have 11 subtracting 8 from 11 we get 3 and by subtracting 2 from 2 we get 0 in the tens column and in hundreds column subtracting 0 from 7 we get 7 so our sum is 703.178 now students let's review the lesson to add or subtract two or more decimal numbers first of all we will arrange them in such a way that the decimal point of these decimal numbers are aligned for example 23.6 and 4.7 we arrange them in such a way that their decimal points are aligned now we can easily add them put the zeros in empty places now the decimals are like decimals and we can easily add them perform ordinary addition and subtraction but place the decimal point where it is now time for homework exercise 4a question number 4 part a c E and G. Thank you.